see. Show so, uh, okay, yet no problem. Oh, thank you. Come on! Free! You think I'm a joke? Hey. Yeah. What's wrong? There's good news and there's bad news. Good news is everything's coming together. Bad news ain't gonna make a blind bit of difference to me. Uh, what do you mean? Do you want me to spell it out? No, I guess not. Thanks. Back, you'll give you a call and explain. The ex-boyfriend of your girl is going to agree to the divorce terms. Unfortunately, it turns out he wasn't our only problem. Some other crap has turned up. I don't think I'll be getting out anytime soon. Been a great laugh. You look after yourself. Yeah. off of Frankfurt Avenue in Northwood. Looks like our joyful time with her is coming to an end. That's a fucking tragedy. We should throw her a goodbye party. That's the plan. Hopefully someone might bring a big present for us to this shindig as well. Maybe a big bag of diamonds will help us get over the pain of losing her. We're waiting for you, man. Any closer, buddy. Hey, man. All right, Nico. The exchange is over on Charge Island at the water treatment plant. Becky, my man, how are you and Gracie getting on? Like a house on fire, ain't that right, Gracie? <laughs> See, she was just telling me how much she loved me. What do you think of Nico, Gracie? I'm fucking with the fuck of you. Gracie, watch your mouth. Nico's a good friend of mine. Don't say that about him. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Gracie, you're sweet. I know, I'm too good for him, but sometimes a guy has got to hang out with lowlifes like Nico here. He's got his uses. I'm gonna use your fucking uses! That's right, he is definitely a bad influence on me. I'm a fucker! Stomach? That's disgusting. Hey, uh, come back here. 
I'll show you my glutes. Now leave me alone. Oh, Christ! History. Oh, hey. Hey. John Wilkes blew the radio. What is wrong with the people of Liberty City, you know? Don't they want to be famous? Hey, excuse me, Please Madam. make a U-turn. Well, listen, well sir. On the radio. Please proceed to highlight your group. Calculating group. Fucking hell! Entertainment. Look like when I put on a fat suit and go and feel up tourists. You know... Or, or that thing that got me indicted. Are you finally ready? Please proceed to about? highlight no, it's okay. it. Take your time. No problem. You know, imagine you're a stud about to impregnate a prize racehorse, you know? I'm kind of like the sea that's going to bring you. Do you just call me a horse? And not really. You have a ride. Now that you mention it, I'm just getting metaphorical and sort of an equestrian <gasps> sense, you know? You know, because I've written fantastic poetry. Gracie, you all right? Daddy? The bastard didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down, both of you. Oye, we put the ice in the middle, we walk back. Then, to send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Nikabalik. How is it? That whenever something is stolen from me, you are not far away. I have never stolen anything from you, Mr. Bulgarin. This man, the big pedic, and his Dominican beach, they stole my diamonds. And you have been trying to rob the thieves to rob me. Kanchai! you did to that man, but we ain't leaving here without them diamonds. All right, I think I know who's got the ice. Gotta be this way. Let's split up. I'll take the high road and you take the low road. Jesus, Nico, there's more of the bastards arriving. Boy. Shit, we got 
This way! Give us that fucking ice! You're trapped! We'll let you go if you give them up! <laughs> I'm screwed either way. If I don't give you the diamonds, you kill me here and you take them. I do give you the diamonds, Mr. Bulgarin kills me later. I don't nobody having them. Screw all of you. Yebeno isto. You selfish piece of cock sucking shit. Another minute in this crap hole. Let's get out of here. Jesus Christ, why did that moron have to throw the ice away? It was just plain selfish. There's always one who ruins it for everybody else in the class. You're telling me. We would have let him live. He could have walked away from there. Instead, he's fucked, and the diamonds are who knows where. A lot of people are going to be upset about that. My brother Gerald is going to be one of them people. There ain't much they can cheer him up now that he thinks he's doing serious time, but this is really going to piss him off. It's going to be a nice thing to mull over. You know, while he's staring at them metal bars for the next decade or so. A guy like Jerry can still do stuff in the joint. He organized this kidnapping shit, didn't he? It can't be the only card he's got to play. Fuck, he wasn't too chipper the last time I spoke to him, and he's gonna be a long way from chipper when I tell him what went down. If I can get what went on straight in my head in the first place, that is. Okay, so we exchanged Gracie for some diamonds that Ray used to have. Then some Russian turns up saying they're his, then everything goes to shit. That's about right, isn't it? There's nothing right about this situation, but that would be an accurate description of what went down. The Russian. It's called Ray Bulgarin. I worked for him on the Adriatic. He thought I stole from him and he came after me. I had to leave Europe because of him. And they were his diamonds? I don't know about that. They're nobody's now. The only thing that makes me smile about this shit is that Bulgarin does not have the ice. Piece of shit does not even stay at the fight to see the outcome. Just leaves his boys to clear up. We was outnumbered, Nico. I can see how he thought it was covered. This is not the first time he has assumed that I would be killed by some of his employees. Hopefully one day I'll be able to teach him his lesson by putting a bullet through the back of his head. You're not meant to say what you wish for out loud. It won't come true if you do. That rule even works for wishes as cheerful as yours. And I think to myself, I really miss the drugs. Where do men go for straight talk about their health? Colonics are... When you've got a great quest, only he doesn't know what it is yet. He's telling me you should pull my premium rate number every day until we can find out what it is. He's telling me it's very important to do this every day. You do that, Michael. Well, oh, Jesus Christ! Christ. Give us some, Nico! The future of the world depends on it. Wow! <laughs> the cosmic bus. Like nice the bus fucking driving! Ah, oh, shit! Thinking that that's him. It's not him particularly to use those, you know, four you. words. And, oh, man. They have some of them have yeah. five and six and seven. There you rock radio. Just breed like rabbits. Listen. 
Listen, just give me the hot dog. I want to say hi. Well, Nico, that was a whole lot of effort for no fucking reward. Story of my life. It is the story of a lot of lives, Peggy. I'm getting used to hearing it. See you, Nico. I gotta go break the news to Gerald. At least I'm gonna be on the other side of some bulletproof glass to him. And you know what? I'm still fucking scared. Good luck. Uh, uh, a radio documentary, like I'm exposing... You, you know how kind of shitty your life is, and how your, your father looked down on you one day in whatever dusty shit hotel you're in and said, son, someday you'll be huffing car fumes on a, on a shitty street corner selling food poisoning to... to hey, Roman. Life. You ever wonder if things are just coincidence or if everything is all planned? You mean like when you sleep with two girls on one night and they turn out to be mother and daughter? I mean like this Dominican-looking guy shot up a deal I was trying to make. Then I've kidnapped this girl and we're handing her over for these same diamonds and this Dominican-looking guy is there again. So he steals the diamonds at the deal and then has to give them back for the girl. What's the big deal? It's not as much of a coincidence as the mother and daughter. Thanks for putting things in perspective, Roman. Later on. I used to be around coke off a toilet seat. You know, I took payola. You know, I, I got paid to make nasty comments about people. And, and everybody said I was really funny and that I was a great guy, you know. And deep down, don't you feel like you have a deep, dark... Hello? my first thought when I heard. I'm happy for him. Sure you are. I'm happy too. Fucking happy. Bruce is ecstatic, homie. Just, you know, kind of gonna, gonna, gonna miss him is all. He's not going anywhere. Him and Mallory are only getting married. We'll have to settle down sometime. What, you think I'm getting old? I got the abs of a 17-year-old gymnast and the forehead of a toddler, baby. Brucey don't need to settle down just yet. Sure, sure. Enjoy all that extra pussy then, Brucey. I'll see you around. Public Liberty Radio. Free radio. Free of interesting content. Just bladder. No boring burnout. Bladder. Hey, you wanna... We only just... No problem. Let's get back to Intelligent Agenda. And now, back to the Intelligent Agenda. Hello. Our intelligent Agenda, I'm Mike Riley. I'm sure you've heard about our next guest on the news. He's 11, and he's a genius. He's Zachary Tyler, National Spelling Bee Champion a couple of years back, also a grandmaster at chess. He's written the great American novel, and now he's about to solve hunger. Great to have you on the show. Greetings. Now, Zachary. Example of liberal parenting. Your parents raised you in a commune. Yes, it was very really nice with her little bubble tits and would make a fine receptacle for my DNA juice. And I 
That's the only reason people listen to her. But listen, you don't need a pill for everything and barely for it. Jones, I hope the past sex magic will strangle the person afterwards. Fantastic. The answer is really important questions. The number is 212360-2367. Hello? five minutes, the meter is running. I've been invited to your cousin's wedding. I didn't think you guys knew each other. Nor did I. He called me up and said that you really liked me and wanted me to be there. Is that true, oh, Nico? I guess it now. is. I'll see you at the wedding then. I'm the poster Insurance. Go Go to watch him, all right? You love to disappoint me, Nico Pelic. You really do. Are you disappointed that I have not found and killed you yet, Dmitri Raskolov? Do not worry. Your time will soon come. I went to the sewage works on Charge Island. I picked through the bodies, and yours was not amongst them. Very disappointing. I'm sorry. Or maybe the thugs who failed to kill me should be blamed, though. I cannot believe that you would steal from my friend Ray Bulgarian twice. First in Europe, and then these diamonds in Liberty City. You are in debt to him, Nico. Why don't you just pay him what you owe, and we can all get along? I have no debts to Bulgarian, Dimitri. And the only thing I owe you is a bullet to the temple. You will be paid in full. Fear not. You have a sharp tongue, Nico. It is only a matter of time before it is cut out of your mouth. Goodbye. Sure. I'm glad this is not my car. Jobs? Is that it? Am I out? You're out. You've done good things for us. We are grateful. That said, I've given you a lot of protection. From here in, you're alone. Goodbye. brought Darko Brevich into the country for me. This is almost over. I'm going to finish it. Nico, you can't do this alone. I'm coming with you. Come collect me from Firefly Island. All right. Wait there for me. Calculating route. Faster! This city does not flee! Yeah. You have arrived. Fuck your mother!
They are bringing him to the cargo bay at Francis International. I do not want to be late after I've waited so long. Calculating route. In one mile. Turn right. Well, this is the big moment. What you've been waiting for for so long. I hope you will not be disappointed. Disappointment is not a consideration. I have not been the same man since the day that Darko betrayed us, since I saw those things. You lost a lot of friends that day, Nico. We both did. In some way, our friends from the village were lucky. I lost myself that day too. Everything that was good and innocent in me died along with them. If I could live those hours again, I think I would have preferred to be buried in the pit along with everyone else. This is all that is left of me. What am I good at, Ronnie? What is my trade? I deal in death. Because that is all that is open to me. I will tell you what you are good at, Nico. You are a good cousin and a good friend. You still have integrity. No matter what you say, there is humanity in you. You still have the power to be good. It's important that you believe that. Maybe I will start to believe it when Darko is dead. That might give me some perspective. This killing must stop sometime, Nico. Once this is done... This is it. This is where it all ends. You remember me? Puse me, ne poznajem te. I don't know you. Yes, you do. I'm the one who survived. <laughs> Nico. Hello. Reci mi zašto. Zašto? Zato što smo bili prijatelji. Svi smo odrasli za jedno. Mitar, Dragan, Goran, Mio. Mogu da nastavim. Svio, ha? Huh? We were friends, but I are never friends. Friends that Goran and his guys killed. My fucking neighbors. Because of what? Because of shit. Lies. Fucking lies. So that makes it okay to stab your friends in the back? Shown to be shit. You make strange choices. Fuck yes. you! Strange choices? How much? <laughs> A thousand. <laughs> you killed my friends for one thousand dollars. How much do you charge to kill someone? You ruined me, you fuck! I need it. I had problems. You're a fucking junkie! Kill me, Dan! You fucking hypocrite. Trust me. You'll be doing me a favor! Ah! Nico, come on. Look, let's go. Let him suffer. He, he knows what he did. He doesn't look like he enjoys life too much. Come on. We should go, Nico. You've seen what happened to him. Where am I? You said... I just have to see that! You pe- 
piece of shit! That was for me! Okay, Nico, it's over. It's all over now. Leave me there. We should go, before anyone turns up. You take me over to Bruce's house. Please make a U-turn where safe. Turn right, then immediately right. In dirty diapers, all. I'm turning this shit off. I can't take listening to those annoying ads and DJs right now. There you go. You got your revenge. How does it feel? I don't know how it feels. I'm trying to take it all in. This is the moment you've been waiting for. For so long, Nick. What do you mean you don't know how you feel? I mean, I don't know. I feel empty, okay? I feel empty. That's something. At least. No, Roman. It's nothing. The emptiness is what I was trying to get rid of by finding Darko. I've been empty ever since that day. I thought that revenge, that killing Darko, might fill me up a bit. It might give me some substance. And it hasn't? No. It hasn't. Does that make you happy? Of course it doesn't make me happy, but... Maybe this is good for you. Maybe now that you know that revenge is not what you are after, you can look for fulfillment in other places. Healthy ones. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. In 100 yards, turn left. Please proceed to highlighted route. Calculating route. You have arrived. Here we are. Do you want to come in and hang with Brucey? No. I need to be alone. Thank you for being with me, cousin. Do not mention it. Call me, Nico. The wedding is soon. Florian, I thought you should know. Darko is dead. He's finally paid for his crimes. That's good to know, Nix. You should let go of it now. You have a new life in America. Forget the past. Sometimes I think my past is all I got. So long. You look after yourself. Stop! Now! Come on, quick, get out! Don't play with the window. Thanks. Hell no. You're gonna miss them teeth. be on some sort of pharmaceuticals. Something to keep them calm and inside where they belong. Now I'm fucking with my ride and stealing my shit. Comedian Cat Williams. Groundbreaking illusion is Brian Vesuvius. Wow, the audience is recently when he made his job. Nico, the shit has gone down. I need to see you. Come to the club in Tudor! All right, Mr. Pegorino. I'll see you there. That little guy away. Uh, now, Vesuvius is discussing... Oh, serio, see me out there. A stunt in which he plans to shrink his head to half its size. I like a little head, usually after dinner. Stop doing that, would you? Vesuvius will perform his cranial reduction live in space, or so he claims. We will stay with this story. Should have come a bit earlier. Sorry. Damn, man. Be cool. Vodka on the rocks.
Nico, uh, good to see you. And you? How are you? Uh-uh. Fucking terrible. We got legal problems, all kinds of crap. You know how things have gone. I've heard some things. <sighs> you get close to your dream, then something holds you back. No! Well, commission or no commission, I ain't gonna starve. People don't want me around, they don't have to have me. But I know how to earn. I need a favor. Here we go. Fuck you! I looked out for you, and I'll pay good, real good. But I need you to do something. I need you to collect that H. I got some Russians who have a buyer. Russians? Yeah. Dmitry Raskolov. No, we've got history. I know, but this is real. I need you. Real? What the fuck is real? Real because it's you? Real because it's my last chance. Then good luck. No, I need you to get that H. I need the money. I looked out for you. You know, people wanted to whack you. I said no. Now I need you. And I'll pay a lot of money. Listen, Mr. Pegorino. I already told you. I got no, history. No, you listen, you dumb immigrant fuck. I ain't asking you. I'm telling you, do this. Get over your principles. These guys don't hold grudges. Do it or you and me are gonna have a problem. Look. Phil will look after you. You won't even have to deal with the fucking Russians. He's waiting for you, down in Tudor. All right. I knew I could count on you. Hey, how about that drink? I have a problem. You've got a problem, people. I'm about to get married. No. One woman for the rest of my life. This is serious, Roman. I have been asked to work for Dmitry Reskolov again. There could be a lot of money in it. I heard you two have resolved your difference. He's on some boat in Eastbrook, right? What? You knew about this? He's on a boat in Eastbrook? Yeah, I, I heard you had forgiven him and we're working together. You're doing this deal, right? Now that I know where Dmitry is, I might just go there and take him out instead. Have you forgotten that he burnt down your apartment and business? That he arranged your kidnapping? Now I have a better apartment, and I'll have an even better one that you work with him again! Promise me you won't do anything hasty, cousin. I have to think about it. Speak to you later. A decision to make and I don't know who to talk to about it what's your choice Nico there is a man who betrayed me in the past I am being asked to work with him it could be very profitable but it would mean going back on an oath I swore to myself you shouldn't work with him Nico you don't need money what is it going to change about your life I don't know it will make things easier for me and for Roman I'm not going to respect you if you compromise what you believe in for money Nico Bye.